All right, hey Scorpio. So I am doing a singles read for you guys. Um, Friday. I thought instead of Friday night messages, I will do a Friday morning singles read just because um, I haven't done one in a while. I've been waiting for a deck to come in, but it's not here yet. So, all right, I'm going to pull your energy and the person that's coming towards you, their energy. What is Scorpio's energy? The person coming towards Scorpio. Okay. So, Scorpio, your energy, we have the Page of Swords energy coming out. And I feel like um, this is um, somebody who's kind of been waiting on news. Like, am I going to be receiving love? This Page of Swords, um, for me, it, it's a representation of delayed news. It is a success. Um, with, and this is also going to be, um, you, you can't possibly be stalk, stalking anybody, right? Because this is for, this is new love. Okay. Um, it could just be that you watch tarot readers and you're just kind of wondering when, when your time is coming, when your turn is coming. Okay. Um, so listen, you guys, if you don't resonate with your energy or what your feelings are towards love, you're going to want to check your other placements. All right. If you're new, please, you guys, I ask you to stick around and subscribe. I'm, I'm pretty fun. All right. Um, but anyway, back to the read, you are in page of swords energy. So I do feel like it's like, I feel like you're kind of just it's, it, and anticipating. It's like, when when's my love coming in? All right. And it's not, you're not doing anything wrong being in that energy. I just feel like you're just kind of like, hello. Um, so we have the eight of cups coming out. This is um, a representation of the person that is coming towards you. Okay. Now it could be that the universe, all right, God, however you believe, um, they, you, you do have your person. This person is coming towards you. It could be a Pisces coming towards you. All right. Um, but this person could be wrapping up something. They could be finishing up something that's important now, just, um, uh, on a very, very, very small scale, because I do ask for the intention of new love. This card did drop in reverse, which is a representation of something coming Okay, but I'm not going to stick to that line um, for the very, very small few that that I feel is applying to. Um, think of it as a new start with the return of somebody. Okay, please, you guys don't be negative and comment. I'm not looking for no past person because this is a read for new love. All right. Um, so don't low vibe the read by saying screw that um <laughs> or, or just check your other placements you guys okay um so i'm gonna pull cards to see how you feel about love how is scorpio feeling about love oh you want you want wow okay this is so weird because i i yeah, these three cards came out in the Cancer read too. So, um, and these two specifically came out um, under the advice. Okay, so your current feelings towards love. I do feel like you, um, in Hangman's state of mind, um, you, this is spiritual energy right here. So I feel like you know what you're going to take and what you, what you don't want. All right. And I feel like you could be um, on this single path for quite some time with the Hangman coming out. This is um, being on a break from love. And I feel like that card is coming out because... Um, I do. It's like, you know what you want. Um, and it might, it's might've taken you time to truly kind of come into your own energy with the King of Cups. It's like knowing what you're going to put up with, knowing what you want, knowing how you deserve to be treated Scorpio. All right. And, um, I also feel with the Six of Cups, this is, um, some of you are going to say it's a return of a past. Um, I look at this card mainly as past life, um, this past life um, soulmate connection, okay? And it's not that you're in this energy where you're walking around saying, no, I'm waiting for the past life romantic soulmate. Um, I, I do feel like it is soulmate energy, though. You want somebody who's going to stick around, somebody that's lighthearted, that's fun, okay? I feel like your energy towards love is very kind, very compassionate, very giving. It's like... Just look at this innocent energy. And I feel like that's what you want. You're just, you're just in this embodiment of 
pure and, and true love. That's what you want. That's your feelings towards love. And I feel like that's why, and I feel like with the hangman too, it's like being content that, Hey, if it's not coming right now, that's fine. I don't need to rush it because, um, when you rush it, it, it just, it kind of falls apart. Right. So who is coming towards you? This eight of cups. Who's coming? Who's coming towards you? Okay. So this person coming towards you. Um, all right. So here's what, here's why I feel like we have their energy, eight of cups. So, um, it's like the universe, God, they don't want to align you, especially if you're in a certain alignment, they don't want to align you with somebody that's not an energetic match. Okay. I'm going to keep the five of cups in reverse because I feel like it applies to this person coming towards you. And I feel like this is a representation of somebody who is tying up the loose ends of the past. They don't want to be sad when they enter the phase of new love. All right. But who's coming towards you? So, uh, it could be, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, King of Pentacles, I believe is uh, Virgo energy, but it could be any of the earth signs. All right. And this person is coming towards you with a solid offer. Okay. So this is commitment. Um, and that is going to be a question that I ask here in just a bit, but I do feel like this person, they're just tying up some of this so that they can truly offer you the King of Pentacles energy. So you got King of Cups and King of Pentacles energy coming out. Um, the person that's coming towards you, um, this is going to be somebody who is, um, they're professional. All right. King of Pentacles is somebody who dresses nice. They look good. They smell good. They put themselves together. Well, um, they, they, um, are all about money, stability, finances. They could be a higher up at their job. All right. And, um, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is somebody who sees you in the same kind of light, um, commitment. All right. You got two Kings coming out here. So it's like, we're equals. Let's do this. Okay. Um, and I feel like that's how the person is going to treat you as an equal. So there ain't going to be any, um, unfair unfairness going on. Um, sorry. I dropped a card. Look at the card that dropped marriage. Okay. So Let's just see what this person's like. What is this person like that's coming towards Scorpio? We have um, the Knight of Pentacles coming out. Okay, so here's what I feel. You could be seeing 777. Oh, uh, by the way, these are 30-day intention reads, you guys. So what this person is like... Um, I do feel like they've been through a lot. You got the seven of swords. So this is the stolen heart card. This is somebody who's been through um, a, a lot of shitty relationships. I'm just going to say that the knight of pentacles is the wounded warrior knight. Okay. That's why this knight moves so slow. So I do feel like this is, um, it could be over the 30 days that it actually turns into a commitment, but it is going to turn into a commitment when you guys um, are ready. Okay. This is somebody who's been through a lot of pains. I don't feel like this is a representation of how this person is going to treat you. This is why they're moving so slow. All right. They're, they're a slow moving energy because they've had a lot of pains from the past. Look at, they have this sadness that they're trying to walk away from it. Okay. And with the seven of cups, I just feel like this is a representation of all the opportunities you guys are going to have together. This is what they want to do. This is what they want to build towards. All right. Just endless, abundant um, opportunities. Okay. But this person's been wounded in the past, so they are going to move slow. All right. But once you guys get there, um, you're, both of you will see endless opportunities. And I feel like this is a positive card to be coming out. So their intentions towards you. When they come in, the, their intentions. This is going to be somebody. This is going, okay, look it. I'm going to leave the cards like this and in this order because this person could have a past. All right. This person could be in the past a, uh, a reformed player. I'm going to say that. Okay. Um, and it's because of how they've been treated in their past that they have not known how to give love. And I feel like it's because of the past wounds and the hurts. Okay. But when this person comes in, um, I feel like their intentions, 
okay, coming towards you is going to be essentially a rebirth of what they've known, how they've known people to be and how they've treated people. All right. So um, I don't want to tell you that you're, you have this just straight unhealed person coming in. I feel like um, this connection is being guided together and, um, you know, for that small percentage of you who might be looking for a return, um, this person had to heal and that's why they had to walk away in the first place. Okay. Um, but I do feel like with the death card coming out, this is a, a transformation. Okay. So their intentions are to be, I feel like, um, they want to embody the, the love and the energy, all this, the negative stuff from the past, the going back and forth, the in and out, the uncertainty of, of love in itself. I feel like they're, they're, they, they're going to meet you and you get, and basically I feel like you're going to change this person's percep perception of love, Scorpio. This is your card. And I feel like you're going to be the catalyst for the rebirth or the growth on this person. Okay. So let's just see if this is going to lead to a solid uh, relationship when it unfolds. All right. So here's what I feel. Is it going to lead to a solid relationship? All right. I feel with the devil card coming out, um, this person. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to leave these cards right here just like this, because I feel like judgment is um, bringing something from the past back. Okay. And I feel like this is just going to be really intense. All right. But with the magician card coming out, um, I, and I kind of feel like this is going to be more directed to the small percentage of who is wanting this person back. Uh, I, let me just say this real quick. For those of you who have, and, and I don't feel like the person that walked away from you, you were ever in a relationship to begin with. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is the universe calling this person back because they need to be a healed version of themselves before they come to you. All right. This is divine masculine energy right here. Okay, and I feel like this is in reference to the person that's supposed to be coming towards you. So when they come towards you, they are going to embody the divine masculine energy that they need to be in um, in order for you guys to grow, um, co-create, um, in order for you guys to build together. All right, so I feel like judgment is come is is the it's a representation of the angel of the past, and that's why this person um, kind of straight away to begin with. Let me just clarify these cards on the, the solid commitment scale. All right. So will it lead to a solid commitment? We have, look at that, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. That's that new love. So this is new. This is this is new. And it is. Look at Eight of Wands energy. This is um, swift um, incoming energy. All right. Yes. Look at this is confirmation that it is two of cups. This is soulmate energy. All right. Um, you know, shedding skin. Shed, it's like uh, 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 unraveling the layers. But this is wishes and hopes and dreams being fulfilled. So, yes, um, even on the new, even it, for the small percentage of somebody coming back, it is going to lead to a solid commitment. Um, I feel like this is a 30-day intention read. Um, this one might go a little bit past that, especially if this person's still trying to clean up some um, of, the ba of the past. All right, but let's see what the advice is on this Scorpio. The advice for Scorpio. You have the Empress card coming out, and we have now a divine masculine and feminine energy coming out. Um, the Empress is the high priestess after she gets um, pregnant. Okay, so um, okay, so in this read now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, so that does show divine counterparts coming through. All right, with the Empress card coming out, we have the Magician and the Empress now, representation of Divine Feminine Masculine counterparts. Okay, but with the Eight of Pentacles coming through, I feel like your advice is somebody, um, 
somebody is just the universe is still working with this person to embody the energy that they need to be in okay um, in order for this to properly come back together so just know this is confirmation that the universe is currently working with this person all right um, and it doesn't matter if it's a past person or a new person um, I, this is just a message to you Scorpio saying the universe is working with this person to get them to to, to be in alignment so that you guys can get drawn in together okay so just hang in there you guys stay positive don't don't even comment negative shit dude it's like this even those little negative thoughts even the negative comments man that that creates a stigma on you that creates karma all right so what is your attitude towards love um even a shitty comment man can be like okay well we're just going to put you back another 30 to 60 to to a year depending on how moody you can be you know um karma every every thought you know i'm not saying it to be mean um it's just true i see some people comment some shitty things and i just delete them because i'm like it's that the, the save the room for the people who are here to actually hear the messages and and be positive so these are going to be yours or their first middle or last initials if yours don't come out, it's more for the person coming in towards you or um, something that you can uh, put with this person. Okay, so initials, look at that. You, you. I don't know about that, you guys. Never know, though. We got H, J, K, Z, D. I'm going to pull two more just to cover the U. What do we got? We got two Ds, two Us. I, these cards have two, uh, two of every letter, you guys. So I think it's kind of funny that we had multiples come out of the same. We have M and P. All right, Scorp, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Um, stay high vibe, stay positive, think positive thoughts that everything is coming to you as it should be. I love you guys.